Well, the geese are going. So your name is Carl? Dennis. Dennis. Well, Bill again, Dennis man. Robertson, man. Yeah. So what would you like to say? Look out for one another, man. You know what I mean? Look out for it, you know? I mean, if some person's got it, then help another person, you know? And if they got it, help another person, you know? But we all got to stick together, man. Don't steal, don't... You know what I mean? You can't, uh... Negative things are going to bring negative results, dude. Positive things will bring positive results, you know? And you've been out of prison now? You've been able to stay out for eight months, eight right? Months, so you're all proud. Keep it up. Um, I got my four girls and my son. They just can't believe me, you know. I just ride my bike and do my cans and bottles, man. You got a purpose. Yeah. I mean, I make 27, 30 bucks a day, and I go there like two or three times a day, man. Yeah. How old are your kids, man? Uh, my son's 23. I have a, uh, have a 21 year old daughter, I have an 18 year old daughter, a 13 year old daughter, and a 9 year old daughter. So what drugs did you you have to kick, if you don't mind me asking? Crank. Pardon? Crank? Uh, crank, yeah. Man, a lot of people out here, you can tell. You know, it took this place like wildfire, dude. Yeah, it's this whole shit. town, this whole town, man, was just like, wow, when I went to high school, you know, I graduated from Marysville High School in 1977. It just took this place like wildfire, dude. The cops didn't know what to do. And everybody was shooting fucking dope, dude. I don't even know who put a needle in my arm. I don't know, but everybody was doing it. And, you know, I did it, my wife did it, my friends did it, and, you know, and everybody, dude. Sorry. So you've been able to, did you have assistance to quit? Or you just said, this is fucking crazy? Yeah, I'm I'm not in, I just, yeah. I couldn't, uh, I got caught three times, man. I got a possession for sales because I had a, I had like nine twenty dollar bags, and because you have more than one bag, you know, so you possess it to sell it. They gave me three years of that. Then I got possession of an eight ball. They gave me two years of that. Then I got possession of an ounce in Yuba City, and they gave me three years of that. You know? Not once, not once did they say, "Hey, you know, maybe you have a problem, and you should try a living program or a rehabilitation program." And and then, when I went to uh, get my food stamp card, right, I was told that uh, people with drug beefs or drug convictions, you can't get food stamps. So I didn't go. Well, I went. And, uh, I talked to the lady and her supervisor. Oh, man. That's, she, that's bullshit. They pumped out my rap sheet. And she said, look here, man. All, all your drug cases are before 19... Anything after 96, any kind of trafficking, possession, sales, or anything, you can't get food stamps. You know what I mean? It's that, but all mine really? were. Really? Wow. Mine were in the 80s, you know? Well, I, had, so I had to able. tell her, well, you know, check it out, man, just because you use an illicit drug and you might get hooked and you might, you know, and you might have a drug habit, that doesn't mean that you don't get hungry. You know what I mean? That doesn't mean that, you know, you don't have to eat. You know, I don't understand it. And all the lady told me was, look, I don't make the rules. It's up to uh, supervisors and board of supervisors and all that. Well, you know, well, maybe you need to tell them, dude, you know? Because when you're out here on the street, that's all people have, man. You know what I mean? It's, you know, and it's all around, dude. And you don't have to pay no money for it. You know what I mean? You're out there, man. And, you know, if you stay awake and you do that, you, you're not hungry. You don't have to eat. You know, and you can walk around with all extra energy and get your cans and your bottles. And, you know what I mean? All of a sudden, you're like in this groove that is so hard to get out of, dude. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? After a couple of weeks of it, man, your body just goes like, man. And then you start having to have it.